Hello lovely people, my name is Adrian Lischka, I'm product manager here in Yeskawa Europe. I'm responsible for the drive business and in today's online session I would like to introduce you our new crane drive series CR700, that small baby here. Uh, CR stands for crane 700, describes the performance level, this is the high performance supreme category drive. So what's new in this drive? Uh, basically Yeskawa has already crane drives, series A1000 and also U1000. For people who don't know the U1000, please check our website. This is a low harmonic regenerative drive, uh, including some special crane features as well. But today, um, the star of the show is the CR700 drive. The CR700 um, is packed full with the new features, which are only available with, the, with this drive. Um, all crane features you know already from your SCAVA A1000 series are also integrated here. We improved some of features, um, but we added also on top a new one. So one of the new features is, for instance, tandem operation. So this is a synchronous position control if you want to synchronize multiple hoist applications, hoist drives. So very nice feature. You don't need any external controller anymore. Everything is built in the drive and everything what you need to do is only to en enable this function by one simple parameter. So the second feature which is um, inside of the drive, which is also brand new, is the anti-sway function. The anti-sway function is, um, yeah, it prevents uh, swinging of the heavy load and to avoid damages and also to shorten the, um, the tax cycle times. So we have a small demonstration here which is showing the difference between anti-sway enabled and anti-sway function which is disabled. So let's start first with the anti-sway function enabled. So we have a small load here, we have a small laser pointer, I hope you can see it on a screen. And we are moving now the hook position from the right side to the left side. So just press the button. Yeah. So you see very, very small swing, almost nothing. So very nice and precise um, control method. If we compare the same application with the uh, anti-sway function disabled, so we see a totally different behavior of the drive. Yeah. So you see the load is very heavily swinging and because we, we do not control the swing position control here. So we do not need any special features, any option cards for the anti-sway functions. All we need is again one simple parameter and to switch on this functionality. So, but that is not enough. So we have also a next new feature. This is the load sharing without encoder. So what is the target of the application? The target of this application is you have a, for instance, a, a gantry crane and where one motor is located on the left side and the second motor is located on the right side. Both are not mechanically coupled. So to avoid that the motors on each side are running in different load conditions and maybe some twist of the crane happens, uh, we developed the load um, sharing without encoder. So in the past you was needed to install the encoder, but here we don't need it because encoder are sometimes a little bit yeah, failure cost, so that can also stop your crane application. So we are now in position to, sh to share the load between both motors at the same amount of torque without any um, upper controller and everything is also here built in the drive. For this functionality, we only need an internal communication from one drive to the next one. But this is not, not, we are not stopping on these new features here. We have even more. So we added also to the CR700 uh, hook position control, so we are now able to measure the hook distance, the position, so wire rope um, length monitoring. We added a brake control function, so which means we are now also not only counting um, if the uh, how many start and stop conditions we are, we are already performing. We are also counting how many, how frequently the brake was open and closed. And this is, could be used as a small indication if you are preparing your maintenance. So if you know you have to maintain your brake, uh, the crane brake for instance after 5,000 cycles, then you can check the drive and the drive tell you how frequently, how, many, how often the brake was closed or open. Um, we have also more 
uh, lifetime monitors included here. So we, we can check the lifetime of the IGBT, uh, we can check the lifetime of the capacitors, cooling fan, um, very flexible and also here the target is to give you more information to prepare your maintenance, to schedule properly your, your maintenance uh, timing. Um, what we also added is virtual um, travel limit switches. So if you are running closed look application and the drive know the position from the encoder, so we can also trigger virtual end, end limit switches. This is also some feature which is very helpful uh, if somebody maybe on, on an installation base was cutting by mistake the wires. So this additional feature will stop the travel of the crane even the end limit switches are really disconnected. Um, yeah, this is some kind of, of new features we, we have added here. Um, so let's have also a small jump into the hardware. Uh, Mark, can I have the drive? Yeah. Okay, so um, this CR700 drive is really easy to use. So if you are familiar with Discover low voltage drives, you will be 100% sure also able to, to, to make a very simple programming of this drive. So we have the small QR code located here. So all you need to do is take your mobile phone, scan the QR code, you will be automatically linked to your Scarva cloud. You have the access to manuals, to catalogs. Uh, you can download the parameters from the drive into your Scarva cloud. You can send it to your customers. You can create reports, very nice feature. So we have this um, LCD operator clear messages, uh, self-explaining, so even if you are not familiar with Discover drives, you just first time connect the CR700 to the power supply, the drive will guide you. So it will ask you what kind of digital inputs you would like to connect, what should be the, the functionality, what should be the inputs, everything really, really safe uh, guidance. So we have also real-time clock inside, and if we remove it, we have also a small memory um, card here. So you can upload your parameters, you, you can use it as a function uh, for oscilloscope and then just have a look on your PC. Okay. So um, if you would like to connect your PC with the drive, okay, you, you can use this RJ45 connector. We have also micro USB port here. And if you order this drive with Bluetooth operator, then of course you can also have the connectivity to the drive using Bluetooth. So, but then let's have a look inside of the drive. So what have we changed? So if we look inside of the drive, you will see our PCBs are factory standard coded. Yeah? We have also added this kind of wire um, connection places. So um, yeah, you can just clip, clip it off and slide it down so we are fixing now a little bit more the power cables here and also guide the, um, the IOs cables, cablings here. Okay. So. We also took a lot of patience on the power terminals here. So you see our terminals are very easy to access and there is no way just to put the, the screwdriver by mistake um, to two terminals at the same time. So it's really very, very application safe here. And we have also connections here, so three connection ports, so we can place communication cards. Mark, do we have one? Of course. Okay. So this is, for instance, Profibus option card. So you just need it, clip it in, connect your cable here, put the cover on top, and we have again, again, very slim and compact drive design. Okay, so what, what is the difference maybe between the standard Yaskawa drive and the CR700? So if you look, first of all, you will see we have 10 digital inputs, where the standard Yaskawa drive has eight digital inputs. And for the crane applications, we also decided to use screw terminals instead of screwless terminals. All terminals here are also marked, so there is also no way to mismatch the input cable to the output cable or to the motor co uh, terminals or vice versa. Okay. Yeah. 
So we offer the CR700 drive um, in 400 volt category, uh, voltage class up to 315 kilowatt. Um, all drives up to 75 kilowatt has built-in braking choppers and starting from 22 kilowatt and above we have also built-in DC reactors. So this is just to keep the harmonic level on a harmonics on a very low level. Um, for European market, so this product is also manufactured here in Europe. So even Yaskawa is a Japanese company, so we decided to, to start the production for European market from local factory here, just to keep the very short um, yeah, tr um, timing from, from the factory to the customer. Yeah, so let me know if you have any more questions about the crane drive. And I'm happy to, to answer all of your questions. Okay, no questions so far. If you have questions, just chat me, uh, send me an email or send one email to your Skawa team and wish you a nice evening. Stay, stay healthy. Thank you. <laughs>